cellulose coat or cellulose uh, vehicle okay inside which enzymes are delivered so let's begin with the physical absorption mode which is the type of uh, carrier binding uh, type so we will see physical ionic and covalent three of them so this is the first one physical absorption mode now this mode again the binding is mainly by the hydrogen bonds multiple salt linkages or van der waals interactions nothing too uh, very special in this case now the advantages is there this is very very simple and cheap because it's simple attachment by the hydrogen bond or multiple salt linkages and we all know that hydrogen bonds are weaker force van der waals is also weaker force so it is a weak bond it causes little or no conformational change of the enzymes due to the mechanical uh, uh, surface to surface attachment we, because suppose this is our enzyme let me change the color sorry so let's let's see this is the matrix so it's simply surface to surface interaction so no change in the, this interaction is happening so it's a very very weaker interaction between the enzyme and the sub surface of the matrix or carrier now the disadvantage is the absorbed enzymes may leak from the carrier as uh, the bond between them is very weak so they can leak so the enzymes can leak due to any kind of mechanical forces any kind of small mechanical forces can uh, take this enzyme out of uh, this attachment right it can also possible so it will uh, we can have a week or uh, that uh, what is called the enzyme loss okay now the use of this adsor uh, adsorption technique is in case of the vinegar production we can use it uh, the adsorption of this acetobacter species which is a whole cell onto the wood chip so we take the whole cell immobilization via the adsorption in case of the acetobacter species is attached to the wood chips in case of the vinegar production now also in case of manufacturation of the beer what we are having the saccharomyces cerevisiae it is immobilized by the adsorption and attachment to the polystyrene remember i have already discussed the polystyrene is provide the matrix or it can provide the matrix for the attachment of cells or enzymes so here it can be used with the dae cellulose which will provide the matrix now this dae cellulose can provide the matrix uh, because it is a polymer now the second time is the ionic binding mode now in ionic binding mode of the enzyme protein uh, it, it actually uh, it will attach to the water insoluble carrier so remember i have told you that the one property is a very important for the carriers to be that is uh, it must be water insoluble most of the cases so it should be water insoluble and what it will have it will have particular charge for example say here this this m is a matrix of the carrier now the carrier is containing the positive charge so it will bind with the negatively charged enzyme so if you see these are the enzymes and they are negatively charged they are having the negatively charged surface so they can go and attach to it because positive attracts negative so it will attach by the ionic interaction okay now usually the matrix that are prepared here they are prepared for uh, from uh, inorganic materials they can be prepared from organic materials we will be discussing about this carriers uh, or matrices later but now let us see uh, the basic way it is made up with mostly polysaccharide residues or synthetic polymers now the polysaccharide residues we utilize to make these things can be of natural type or synthetic type natural polysaccharides are cellulose starch and synthetic polysaccharides are those polystyrene residues like that okay now let us look at the third kind of uh, interaction this is the covalent binding mode in covalent binding mode simply the enzyme will be attached to the matrix or a carrier which is again the uh, of the same type or the similar kind like this polysaccharides and synthetic polymers so the the only difference between the uh, ionic bond and covalent binding mode is in case of covalent binding modes the interaction between the enzyme and the matrix or the enzyme and uh, the carrier is via the covalent bond now the covalent bond can be supplied is utilizing amino group carboxyl group sulfhydryl group indole group uh, thiol group hydroxyl group and so on so the groups that are present there will provide uh, the binding interaction or the binding residue to be attached with the enzyme now what are the advantages is that uh, due to this covalent interaction as we know covalent interaction is very very strong interaction so due to this covalent interaction enzyme loss is very very less so no leakage of the enzyme happens now remember if we go back to the previous slide we've discussed about the disadvantage of the physical absorption we've seen that adsorbed uh, enzyme may leak due to the very insufficient uh, strong linkage so due to the weak linkage between uh, the enzyme and uh, the matrix but here we can see there is no linkage due to the very very strong interaction between the enzyme and substrate uh, enzyme and the uh, matrix 
which is achieved by the covalent binding. And the disadvantage is also there we, due to the kind of covalent linkage. We know this covalent linkage is very very strong. It, it is sometimes irreversible. So the covalent binding may alter the conformational structure. So this thing can happen. So it can alter the conformational structure of the enzymes. Now if it can alter the structural conformation of the enzymes in the active center of the enzyme. So due to the change in the active side of the enzymes it can have a loss of activity for the enzyme. So this thing can happen. If it changes the conformational structure of the enzymes at the active side of the enzyme, it can lead to the uh, the loss of enzyme activity because the enzyme is uh, acting with substrate.